Hello there, this is John V, Software Evangelist at Jscape, and you're watching a Jscape MFT Server tutorial. Today, we'll talk about logging configuration on Jscape MFT Server. Logs are used for debugging or troubleshooting. It's also where the MFT Server gets information for generating reports regarding the file transfer activities on your server. Jscape MFT Server logs all domain activity either to a log directory or to a JDBC accessible database. To access the login configuration settings, log in to the MFT Server Manager. Navigate into a domain, then go to the logging module. The first tab shows the most recent file transfer activities pertinent to this particular domain. If you want to inspect a particular event, but the activities are just happening too fast, you can click the pause log button to temporarily stop the scrolling. In most cases, you'll really want to open the actual log file to debug something. We'll show you where to do that in a short while. But for now, let's now move on to the next tab. The search tab is where you can run a search over a certain period against a certain set of criteria. For example, Let's say you want to view all file transfer activities of a user named User1. And we want to do that over a period, say, starting September of this year until today. Just give the search a name and specify the criteria you want this search to be run against. In our case, we just specify a date range and the username. After running the search button, you should be able to see the search result in the results tab. If the result has not yet completed, you can click the refresh button. Once you have a result, you can either view the result or export it to a file. You can even rerun a result at a later time or simply delete an existing search result. Let's now move on to the service tab. This is where you specify where MFT server should record its logs. You have two choices. You can either have logs recorded in files or in a database. If you choose to record logs as files, you can also specify which directory those log files will be stored. The default location is in this path, wherein Installed there is a variable that represents the directory path where you install the Jscape MFT server. Logs is a folder underneath that installation directory. And domain is a variable that stands for a directory that has the same name as this domain. Let me show you first where that path leads to. So this is our Jscape MFT server installation directory. We navigate into the log directory. And then we navigate into the MFT Server 1 directory to see the log files of the MFT Server 1 domain. Here are a few log files under the MFT Server 1 domain. These are just text files, so you can just open them with a text editor to do some debugging work. Let's go back to our logging configuration module in the MFT Server Manager. So now you know where to find your domain log files. You can also choose how often log files are going to be rotated. If you choose daily, then MFT server will create a new log file each day. If you choose weekly, a log file will be created per week and so on. On the other hand, if you decide to record logs in a database, you will need to specify a JDBC URL that points to the database, as well as the username and password of an account that has the necessary privileges to that particular database. Note that in order to use the database log option, you must first create the database and the necessary tables on your database server, and then register the appropriate database driver with Jscape MFT server. Example database schema for MySQL Microsoft SQL Server and Oracle are provided in the ETC directory. Let me show you that first. Here we are back in our MFT Server installation directory. So this is the ETC directory. 
The sample database schema included in this installation are found in the following files. Libraries for JDBC drivers must be placed in the libs slash JDBC directory of your Jscape MFT server installation. After that, the Jscape MFT server service must be restarted. And then, the JDBC driver class must be registered in server, settings, JDBC in order for the database to be accessible to Jscape MFT server. As you can see, Drivers for popular RDBMSs including MySQL, Oracle, PostgreSQL, and Microsoft SQL Server already come pre-installed, so no need to worry about those. Let's go back to the login configuration module. Jscape MFT Server also allows you to log all domain activity to a syslog daemon in addition to your existing file log or database log. To use the syslog option, you must have an existing syslog daemon running. This may be a local or remote syslog daemon. Let's say our syslog daemon is running on a separate machine in our local network. We simply enter the IP address of that machine, the port of the syslog daemon, select an appropriate syslog facility, and specify a process name tag to apply all log messages sent to syslog daemon. Sometimes, for troubleshooting purposes, you might want MFT Server to record more information than it normally does. You can do that in the Settings tab. Just enable Verbose Logging. Remember that this option is disabled by default and should only be used for temporary debugging purposes. The reason is that Verbose Logging contains a lot of information that can significantly bring down the performance of your MFT Server and substantially increase the size of your log files. So be sure to switch it back off after using. That's it. We've covered everything you need to know about Jscape MFT server's logging configuration. If you still need more information, just click the links in the description. I hope to see you next time for another Jscape MFT server. Thank you for watching.